Thanks for tuning in. My name is Rob Sarmanian, the general manager of Oakson, and you're likely a property owner considering Perkrite drip dispersal for your wastewater disposal system. Perfect. Allow me to show you how Perkrite drip dispersal works and demonstrate some of the advantages that it can provide. Here you have an artistic rendering of a Perkrite drip dispersal system in someone's backyard. There are tanks, there's a field, very similar to a traditional wastewater system. You can note here that we have a tree in the middle of the field. You have a tree here that's causing the drip dispersal system to be offset a little bit and it's very shallow to finish grade. Those are all things that are going to work to your advantage if you choose Perkrite for your property. The method that the water gets into the ground for a perkrite system is through modified irrigation tubing. There are holes every two feet along the tubing and it comes out one drop at a time. So it's a very controlled application. One of those advantages is that you can actually trench or plow the tubing into existing grade. There's no excavation here. That ditch witch machine the it pulls the tubing through the ground with a blade. You can see the disturbance. And then they'll pull another one two feet next to it, and so on and so on until all the rows are in. No disturbance to your site. Another advantage of the Perkrite drip dispersal system is the ability for the tubing to adapt to irregular shaped lots. Here we have a waterfront property, and the tubing is configured in a diagonal triangular shape right along the waterfront. The drip dispersal tubing is installed shallow to the surface. It's very flexible in nature. In this case, you can trench around trees, rocks, site features, planting beds, etc. The drip dispersal system will conform to your site rather than making your site conform to a wastewater system. Here the tubing is being laid in the trench that's just dug. Literally, you just rake the material back over the top and there's your system installation. Here we are back to the rendering. At a typical residential home, it's a single zone application, meaning that all of the tubing is interconnected and every time the system comes on, it feeds the tubing at all the same rate of flow. Each orifice along the drip dispersal tubing emits the exact same amount of water, allowing the system equal distribution over the entire soil absorption system. This is a key point as we discuss pollutant removal later on in this video. The system is designed to take wastewater generated throughout the course of 24 hours, store it, and meter it out into the field. This allows the soil to accept water, rest for a period of time, accept more water, etc. This is the best way to maintain a long-term sustainable soil absorption system. One of the key features for all perkrite drip dispersal systems is a flow meter. This is a great diagnostic tool and allows us to track the exact amount of flow that's being dispersed to your drip dispersal system Let's discuss now how perkrite drip dispersal provides superior environmental protection. The reason for this is the drip dispersal tubing is installed in the upper soil horizons, allowing plants to uptake the nutrients and evaporation and transpiration in the warmer months. The oxygen rich upper soil horizons provide millions and billions of bacteria and other microbes that remove the pollutants from the wastewater. Other wastewater systems install the dispersal pipes very low, typically three or four feet below finished grade, where there is less microbes and less breakdown of the harmful pollutants that can get into our groundwater stream. There are countless peer-reviewed papers available that demonstrate how perkrite drip dispersal removes minerals through the natural process of the soil, 
such as nitrogen and phosphorus. In fact, that research has allowed several coastal states to implement perkrite drip dispersal as a nitrogen removing technology along their shorelines. The shallow placement of the drip dispersal tubing in the upper soil horizons provides upwards of 50% of nutrient removal. Lastly, I would like to talk about some of the aesthetic advantages that perkrite drip dispersal can bring to your property. You will not find candy cane vents in the middle of your backyard if you're using perkrite drip dispersal. You will also not see high mounds or unsightly retaining walls. Here is a typical installation of a perkrite drip dispersal system where the tubing was plowed into the existing lawn. There's a little bit of disturbance, but after the system is live, that grass will regenerate itself in a matter of a week or two. Transition pieces are connected to the drip dispersal tubing after it's plowed in, and then they are just hand dug back into the soil. Wooded lots can be preserved by plowing or trenching the drip dispersal tubing in between clusters of trees. This eliminates the need to import sand and also preserves the natural aesthetics of the site. Here the finished grade of this coastal property will remain level with the patio. The minimum height over a perkrite drip dispersal system is six inches. Therefore this beautiful new home will not have a large mound in its front yard. Any other wastewater system installed at this property, you'd be walking out your front door and stepping up into your lawn. These owners were very pleased that they chose perkrite drip dispersal. A homeowner of a waterfront property asked their engineer to provide them different options for their wastewater system. Here was a more traditional system and look at the profile. You're literally blocking the, the porch and access out to the waterfront. They decided to go with perkrite drip dispersal and there was no impact to their yard at all. The flexible nature of the drip dispersal tubing can allow homeowners to maintain aesthetic appearances and keep beautiful ornamental trees such as this. Since there is no five foot overdig required with a perkrite drip dispersal system, many, many site features can be preserved. By limiting the amount of excavation, projects can be completed in days, not weeks, with perkrite drip dispersal. Well, thanks for checking out this video. If you do have any additional questions, please visit our website or give us a call.